Hello and welcome to another special episode of Let's English. Today I took yet another session in my neighbor town, Kotakal. I was at Farooq English Higher Secondary School. They invited me to inaugurate as well as take a session in their summer camp, Fantas Minda. And a coincidence took place too. But I'm not going to say anything. You just need to watch to the end of the video to find it. Anyways, a big thank you to the management, teachers and the entire Farooq team, especially Shamsuddin sir, for giving me this opportunity and making this day a memorable one. I'd also like to thank all the students. Without further ado, let's get straight into the In video. Short, the best personnel to be inaugurating our event. I welcome Elham Bicha. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction and warm welcome from all of you little budding stars of the future, the next generation. Wow! Respected dignitaries of the function, teachers on and off the dais, parents and my dear friends. A great day to all present here. It gives me immense pleasure to stand in front of you on this auspicious occasion. This is indeed a great opportunity to be here with you all. I'm very much excited and pleased as well. And I'm really blessed to address you all this morning because it's my special day being my birthday. Thank you. So I was really, I was double happy once I received this call to be the inaugurator and got the opportunity to talk to all of you. First of all, let me thank the Almighty for having blessed us with what we have today. The pandemic has brought everyone to stand still. But now we are ready to go. Yes, here we are to conduct the summer camp, Fantas Minda. Summer camps are not just a place for having fun, but also a place to learn many important things about life. The purpose of these camps is the athletic, cultural and educational development of children. Also, it allows the children to learn many new skills in a nurturing and safe environment. On this prestigious occasion, I formally declare Fandis Minda open and inaugurated! I wish you all a pleasant time ahead. Thank you. How is everyone today? You doing good? Yes. What is it? Yes. Come on. Let me see your energy. Okay, great. So everyone is doing good. Everyone has enjoyed their vacations? Yes. Awesome. So I would like to stand into the tiles and come closer to you so that I can develop a greater connection with you all. So that's the first step which I'd like to do. Let me ask all of you a question. What is it that makes a winner? So has anyone uh, won any competitions here? Has anyone got some awards? No one? At least like a best student, best leader or something? Yes, you've got? Yes. So what's your name? And what is the award which you received? I have won LSS. LSS. Oh, LSS. LSS. Great. That's awesome. Anyone else? Yes. What do you? What have you received? What's your name? Great. So what have you received? LSS. LSS. Awesome. Anyone else? Now, please give a huge round of applause for these two people. I requested all of you to give a round of applause, not because they have won it, but because they have volunteered themselves. They come out and they said, yes, I have won. That is the first quality which you, which you should all be a winner. It's not just for what is winning. 
In English, it means that you are willing to go longer, work harder, and come out of your comfort zone. A winner is a doer who never gives up, no matter how many stark difficulties we face in our life. Every difficulty can be surmounted. The only thing that is required to jump from your difficulty towards success is courage, firm determination, and your willingness to put up hard work. Now, in order to become a winner, we have to follow some kind of strategy. And one of the best things which I would advise you to do is to first make a smart goal. Now, you might be wondering how to make a smart goal. What is a smart goal? Well, the answer is in the word itself. Smart. S stands for specific. M stands for measurable. A stands for yes. What's your name? Good girl. Come on, join us. Great. So S specific, M measurable, A achievable, R realistic, T stands for target. So smart, once again, S specific. You should have a crystal clear goal. It should be a definite one. Second, M. What is M? Yes, measurable. Come on, everyone. What is M? Yes, measurable. It should be a measurable one. It should not take an eternity. Maybe a goal which should be happening uh, in an year, something like that. A, achievable. It should be one thing according to your capabilities. And you have come here to find out your hidden talents. Then we have R, realistic. It should be a realistic one, not a fantasy like Barbie. Is that Barbie? Like, no. What is that movie? Over there. Yes, Frozen and Aladdin and Alibaba, I think. So all of those, it should not be a fantasy one. It should be realistic. Then at last, T, target. You should have certain targets which you can hit every once in a while. Then after you've caught a smart goal, you should prepare a roadmap. So does anyone know roadmap? Have you heard about roadmap? Anyone? What in yourselves? Come on. No one has heard about roadmap? In these COVID times, it was a popular discussion. Roadmap. Creating a roadmap of positive people who will spread the virus. Have we, no, one, no one has heard about it? Yes? Okay, so now you've got it. No problems. So you should prepare a roadmap to achieve your goal. In order to prepare a roadmap, first you must set up small, small targets and split your goals into, let's say, a year, six months, three months, one month, 15 days, or even a week. Then after that, step by step, we have to climb the ladder of success. Now there are different types in the world and I want to and I want all of you to analyze which category you look you belong to. The first category is people who want it to happen. Second, people who wish it would happen. Third, people who make it happen. Now silently in your heart, just imagine yourself, which category do you belong to? If you belong to the third one, which is making it happen, you are a winner. Because winners are makers. Let me tell you all a small story. I hope you're all interested in stories. Okay, great. So, once upon a time, there was a boy who used to dream big. He wanted to see his bright future. He used to imagine himself as a writer and a speaker. But 
Unfortunately, he couldn't get enough inspiration from others. They always demotivated him and said, you cannot even write a word. <laughs> How would you ever write an inspirational line to inspire others? It broke his heart. But he didn't give up. As he listened once from his teacher, never give up. We all have powers. So he used to believe that, yes, I have a power. I can do it. But then he remembered all those negative comments from people. So he took out a pen and wrote a line on the paper which was something like this. Never focus on what people say. Focus on your dream, enthusiasm and the light coming from your inside. First think, then do, then work hard and at last prove. These were the lines he wrote in one of his famous books, which was admired by writers and people. So my dear friends, the battle is not between you versus another person, a thing. We always tend to compare ourselves with another person. Oh my God, he has won a competition. Now I need to win that competition. There's no use of doing that. Because the battle is between you versus your inputs after your hard work. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary people is just a little extra. Winning isn't different. One who wins isn't a different person. They're not gifted. They're just one among us. But the materials he used was different. So why are you waiting now? Embark on the beautiful journey to realize your dream. Get out of your comfort zone. Take risks. Work, work hard and be disciplined. Have a big why. And feel the purest pleasure of attaining the dream of your life. One thing which I'm sure all of you will be having is stage fear. Yes? You're a bit shy at times. Have you ever wondered? Have you ever seen a little chicken? Yes? Okay, so how does the little chicken grow up? They first that little egg, they grow up, they evolve, be bigger, and at last the egg shell breaks and then they come out. Now, if they wanted to, they could just sit in that eggshell for how many days they want. But why did they choose to come out? Because they wanted to get out of that tight zone. They wanted to explore. We have come to this planet to explore. We have come to this planet to travel and learn many new things. God has gifted each one of your different skills. But the only problem is, we don't tend to realize what's our skill. I would not have come here if I didn't know what my skill was. If I didn't know I, my skill was speaking English, I might not have been here. And now you might be asking, how did I realize? Because I came out of my comfort zone. I thought, I need to come out of my comfort zone. So that is the end of my little motivational speech. Hope you have learned a few things. Let's have a quick recap of what we have learned. First thing, SMART. What is SMART? Define it. S stands for? Would you like to know about public speaking? Do you like public speakers? Okay, so I'll give you a, a very, very brief description about public speaking. Now, public speaking is not just a skill for uh, you know, coming into the stage and speaking to the audience. 
If you learn public speaking, you can become a better communicator in your life. Communication is very essential in this fast-paced world. Now, can anyone come up to the stage right now? Anyone? Anyone at all? Come up right beside me. Who is that courageous person, boy or girl? That little star who would like to sparkle in this audience. Who is it in this room? Anyone? Come on, there are many people. Who's that person? Would anyone just like to come to the stage? I'm not going to torture you. There's, we'll have a little friendly chat. Okay, anyone is there? Should I pick someone random? Anyone in this line? Come on. There should be someone. Yes, please come forward. Great, come on everyone, round of applause. Please come forward. You should see her and learn from her. Look at that, look at that courage. She volunteered herself and got to the stage. You need to learn this skill. Remove your hesitation. Okay, so thank you very much. I forgot your name, sorry. So what's your name? Shima. Can you please stay here? Yes, I'm stand here. So, imagine this is your home right now. Okay, this is your home. And uh, you're finished brushing and everything. You're going towards your mom. So what do you typically ask to your mom first? In your mother tongue. What's for breakfast? What's for breakfast? Great! So that's how you need to ask. How can you learn English? Here's the example. Try to learn, try to make small, small conversations and turn it into English. Don't speak fully English. Maybe your mother would be thinking, oh, he's, she's gone mad or he's gone mad. So don't go fully English, but practice speaking it slowly, slowly. Now, I'll ask you to repeat a few sentences. Can you please repeat after me? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Now, please, if you comfortable with it, can you please? No? Okay. I'm happy. Once again. I'm happy. Okay, okay, now can you say, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. That smile, come on, let me see that smile. I'm happy. Yes, now can you say, I'm sad. I'm sad. No, that, that the expression should be there. I'm sad. Like, just imagine yourself. I'm sad. Great, thank you very much. Please go there to your seat. Come on everyone, one more round of applause. So did you notice that difference? Between I'm happy and I'm happy or I'm sad and I'm sad. I didn't get anything for breakfast today. Only I ate was uh, five parathas and one chicken curry. I didn't have anything. You see, that's the difference. That is the key thing that you need to know in public speaking. Now, we can categorize public speaking into three divisions. First, content. Second, body language. And the third, language. So first one is content. Now for example, let's see that, imagine, yes. <laughs> I think she cannot see from there, no problems. What's your name? What's your name? Shelza. Shelza. Great. So, she's my daughter. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So, content. Let's imagine the topic as education. So, you have education, and now you're talking about something else, which is not at all connected with education. That shows your lack of content. So, first thing you need to have is content. Second, body language. Uh, the girl who was just here showed what is body language. The facial expressions, the voice modulation, how raising your voice and lowering it. What I advise you to do is one day go to a beach, stand in front of the beach and consider the water as an audience. That's how I removed my fear in this world, you must be having fear. But one thing that we can do is controlling it. Have I answered your question? Great. Great. After the inauguration as well as my session, we put some music and did some rocking moves, dances. We enjoyed our time to the fullest. Now this was the time they arranged a surprise for me. So the same day which they scheduled for my session was also my birthday. Yes, I'm 15 now. So first of all, I would like to thank everyone for sending their warm wishes you all truly made my day. 
we grooved to some music first then they were getting ready for my surprise I'm sorry the music is removed because of some copyright issues and yes here it is out of nowhere they brought a cake and also a small gift for me I cut the cake while the others sang me a heartful happy birthday it was a great moment for me I cried tears of joy it was just amazing the feeling I felt could not be expressed in words my experience at Farooq English higher secondary school has been exceptional the teachers are truly enthusiastic and exuberant and they made my adjustments as per required and I have no words to describe about the children they were really lovely energetic enthusiastic name any adjective and this was the gift they gave me a small frame with a beautiful photo of me anyways stay tuned for another exciting vlog coming up very soon bye bye